Hello, good morning. I should say good afternoon now. It's Dana, and I'm back from the Indianapolis Public Library book sale. Now, I think I had said that I was going to the book sale today. I told some people. Uh, it's pretty phenomenal. This is the first time I have made the one downtown. And I'll show you the price list. It's all wadded up because I've had it in and out of my pocket 800 times this morning. But adult nonfiction starts at $3, and that's the most expensive item. And it only goes down from there. It's divided like um, adult fiction, soft mass market is 50 cents. Juvenile stuff is like board books or 25 cents. Magazines are 25 cents. Cassette tapes and VHSs are 50 cents. Uh, they have albums that are a dollar. So there's all kinds of stuff that you can get. And CDs are a dollar. So there's all sorts of stuff that you can get at the, the Indianapolis Public Library sale. So I'm going to go through and show you what I got. Now, most of what I've got is for journaling purposes or making ephemera but i also bought a few things for other people so i have here let me get these up i got another one of these now for two bucks you can't really beat that i thought actually i think that was three but i tell you what i'm pretty excited so i didn't have time to really flip through all of them because it was pretty crowded, but I love all the photographs in the butterfly and moth book. I am, I have an affinity for butterflies and moths. And when I find them in the yard, I do try to kind of identify them. We mostly just get like monarchs and swallowtails, but we get a lot of, of moths here. And then I got an insect book, which has some really cool illustrations. I think I could use watercolor on some of these or just use them to make ephemera. And every once in a while, there's some color photos tucked in here and there. Well, no, just in the middle are the color photo sections. So here's the, the color photo section tucked in here. But it is pretty cool. And I think a, a lot of ephemera could come out of that book. And then I got the field guide to insects. I'm sorry, this is Peterson's field guide. I guess I should tell the names of them. This is the Kaufman Focus Guides, Butterflies of North America. This is Peterson Field Guide um, Insects. This is a field guide to insects of Britain and Northern Europe. With over 700, it says here, seven over 700 color photographs. So that kind of caught my eye. So again, wonderful bits of ephemera. I just, I love the pictures in this. And even if I just deconstruct it and use it in my journals, I love this book. I'm in love with this book. Look at all the dragonflies. Aren't they pretty? Oh. There's so many of them. Just so many. It's amazing. That's what we get around me. More like that. <laughs> like metallic blue looking. Okay. Then I got birds of the world and then lots and lots of pictures in here. I think these would make great envelope covers. This has some water damage. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, I think I only paid uh, maybe 50 cents for this when I mentioned the water damage. They did take some off. So, oh, Sue, there's your flamingo ostrich, all kinds of cool birds in there. All right. And then I got another one of these, which I actually picked up three or four of these while I was at the sale. And that's just because there is so many, oops, sorry about that. Um, at the sale. And that's just because I apologize. My, um, my phone went to my channel, <laughs> so I'm in my own life. <laughs> okay. Anyway, 
This is wonderful. I think I saw this on like Shabby Dabby Duda or Treasure Books or some channel I watch. And she did so many cool things with this. And I love the fact that I can fold these in half and use them to tuck into a journal and turn them into writing space. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So you've seen that on to... I'm going to have to find a place to put these as I go. So I got this book on monarchs. I've always been more than interested in attracting more monarchs to the yard. And we do have some of the milkweed that they tend to eat to attract them. Did you see the chrysalis? I tell you what, when I see chrysalis in my yard, I try to protect it. But when this is in the sun, it looks like a gold thread runs through it. And it, it kind of attracts your eyes. So they're easy to find, but they're also easy for the birds to find and eat them. So when I find them, I try to pay attention and, and net around them, but I don't always find them. All right, so this is 600 butterflies and moths in full color. Again, these are illustrations, not photos, and I absolutely love this book. This is lovely. I wonder how many of these are in the Library of Congress. It's got the scientific names at the bottom, which I think is just cool. Not sure what my fascination is with the butterflies and the bugs, but... I'm thrilled to find these. And the soft covers were cheaper. So that was fun. Happy anniversary, Mom, it says. Now you can identify the little critters that feast on your plants outside. So again, more full color. These are very, very thick pages. High quality photograph prints. I love I love these photos and I really feel bad sometimes about tearing up some of these books, but I got, these are, I've kind of saved these from going to pulp. This is the color treasury of butterflies and moths by Crescent books. So, okay. These are all out of order, but I found this, this is called it, the name of it is, this is the ultimate fake book. It contains over 1,200 songs. So, all four trumpet, clarinet, and all B-flat instruments. So, and I love the fact that these pages are already yellowed on the side. I also love the fact that I'll be able to take this spine off and take these pages out with no problem. So, again, it's considered a paperback, so what a steal. Look how thick this thing is. This thing is like an old-fashioned phone book. Okay. Then I picked this up for Thad's sister, who I also got the other Norman Rockwell book for. She's a huge fan, and she loves his paintings. And this book is got it's it has stories and it has photographs and it has so many of his paintings and Saturday evening post covers and they're divided by theme and I could look at this all day I love his he was just such an icon but look at this this is faith in ourselves it's called so Look, he's fishing in the rain, but his pipe's upside down so he doesn't get water in it. I love some of these. I absolutely... Look at this. Look at the old guy. He parked his car and he hung his clothes up. Here's his spectacles and his pipe and his newspaper. And here he is just taking a little dip in the stream. Here's the traveling salesman. In a hotel playing solitaire by himself. So.
so many, so many good pictures. I'm sorry. I digress. Okay, so the next book I found was Greatest Hits of 1984. Again, um, just music paper, but it's larger. Oh, there's a little note in here. So, Desert Moon, Karma Chameleon, A Chance for Heaven, The Way He Makes Me Feel, To Me, Self-Control. Oh, is that Janet Jackson? I don't know. I don't remember. Hard Habit to Break. Look, there's all kinds of little stickers. So this was some kids' uh, music book when they were learning. I also got Superstar Hits of the 70s. So, Chattanooga Choo Choo. Hawaii Five O's in here. Shangri-La. Midnight Cowboy, Good Night Sweetheart, all kinds of fun music that I can use for ephemera. And I got this, Great Songs of the Year. This is from 1973, and it's got the lyrics, uh, music and the lyrics. Kiss is Sweeter Than Wine. Over the Rainbow. Was that 73? I don't think there's Tom Dooley, Rock Me Baby, all kinds of, all kinds of, Wider Shade of Pale. Oh, you guys, uh, y'all know this, don't you? If you don't, you have to listen to it. Oh, some good music came out of those years, didn't it? Okay, the next book is one that Thad actually picked up for me because of the photography. It's called Visions of Wild America. It's from the National Geographic Society, and he was very, very impressed with the photography in this book. So he actually grabbed that and said, you need to buy this. It's got some remarkable pictures. So I'm going to look through it and just see. Oh, wow, it does. Oh, my goodness. That's really cool. This is a collared lizard. Seizes a, a darkling beetle, it says, for lunch. Oh, my goodness. Look at the aloe. Ugh, that's a gorgeous plant. We used to have something similar here. I don't remember what those are called. Not yucca. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at the birds. So it does have some beautiful pictures. Good find, honey. <gasps> flowers. I miss the flowers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. So lots of good stuff in here. Oh, look at the deer. Aren't they sweet? Deer are so cool. They always, they always hang out with their friends. You know, they're never lonely because they always travel with, with others. So congenial they are. So here's another one he found. It's state books. Or state photos, I guess. It looks like maybe. Or just locations everywhere. Virgin Islands, Hawaii. Oh, maybe they're islands. Let's just look at the. Okay, it's America's Seashore Wonderlands. Oh, I might have to pass this on to Sue because... Sue is the real ocean lover. She really is, too. Okay. And then here I picked up... Oh, no, this is another one of Thad's picks. This is London, a pictorial history. And this looks pretty old. Look at this thing's all taped together. What do we have here? We have um, 1969. Okay. Oh. I'm sure it's changed a lot since these photographs. London Bridge. 
Look at the London Bridge in Victorian times. Look at that. Isn't that, that's amazing. That's the great exhibition of the works of industry of all nations. That Crystal Palace. So this has some really nice, nice photographs. Oh, look at the map. It's got a little map in here. Talks about 18th century gardens. A lot shows some aerial drawings and and little handmade maps. Hmm, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Good find, Thad. Okay, so this will be nice. This this will be nice to use. All right, so I also found the book of positive quotations. More than seven thousand quotations arranged by peace of mind, happiness, friendship, faith, and belief, simplicity, goals slash work and success. So I love quotes. I am, I have an affinity for quotes. I love reading other people's quotes. I don't know why I'm, I'm obsessed. I love Bartlett's. I also found the Lesor thesaurus of quotations. So if you look at a topic, you can find certain quotes. So let's just flip through and say, if you want a quote on spontaneity, here is some quotes on spontaneity and who said them. So work quotes, there's lots and lots and lots of work quotes. These pages are very thin, almost like a Bible would be. So these probably would be good for ephemera more than to tuck in as a whole page in a journal. Okay. That's not all. We got another stack. Okay. So this I bought for someone in particular. This is Webster's New World Crossword Puzzle Dictionary. And I know someone who does crosswords religiously every week in the Sunday paper and some in the middle, some that aren't. And I got that for that person. So... Then I got another quote book. This is the Harper book of American quotations. So lots of uh, political, lots of political quotes in here, but also state, religion, society, truth. Uh, there's, these are again by subject of topics. So I like that. So, and these are not in any order. I know I was already at birds, but hi, Danielle. So I also got this. This is how to attract, this is called Hummingbird Gardens, Attracting Nature's Jewels to Your Backyard. Again, I was trying to grab the um, paperbacks are cheaper than the hardback books. So the photographs in this are amazing. I'm just going to flip through a few. Let me make sure I'm on camera. I love, I had no idea there were so many types of hummingbirds. I only see a few where I live, but I am so impressed. Look at this little tiny nest. But they come to my cannas and they come to my Mexican sunflowers and they come, they come to the yard. My dog, he, he doesn't like them. He, he tries to, he growls at them and tries to chase them away and they come right back because they're a lot quicker than him. Okay, so I bought this too. This is country wisdom and know-how. Everything you know, you need to know to live off the land. So I think this is a super cool book. Um, it talks about baking bread, breeding livestock, home building home brewing equipment canning exilers rem remedies um constructing a chicken coop cooking making sausage hand dipped candles um cultivating a garlic patch which we have drawing maple syrup which we've done we've tapped our trees and made our own maple syrup 
um, erecting a pole woodshed, fabricating natural milk soap, farming blackberries, which I'm, I'm about to start doing. Um, I've got some, some blackberry starts going to be mailed to me soon. Uh, perfecting orchids. I'm not really interested. Pest proofing your garden. Definitely pickling, preserving cheese, butter, yogurt, all sorts of really cool things. So I just bought, I mean, for a dollar or two, you can't really go wrong with some of these books. So that I'm not going to tear up. I'm going to look at. So this is again, some music paper that I can just tear up and use for whatever. And this same thing, this is uh, jazz of the giants, fats Navarro, but this again, just some paper that I can tear up and use as journaling pages or ephemera or whatever. Okay. So on to my last bag. These are larger size books. So let me get some of this out of the way. Okay. All righty. First I've got mushrooms of North America. This thrills me. And I think this is going to make some beautiful ephemera and you would not believe all the full color pictures and look at the diagrams in the back. First, it's got diagrams, but look at all these pictures. These pictures are just amazing. Mm. They're so pretty, some of them. And so deadly, right? Not all of them can be eaten or useful, but... Amazing, amazing photographs, a whole section of full color photographs, and then a description and here and there, there's little um, drawings. Let me see, like, there's a few diagrams here and there. Oh, and somebody left a little ruler. Oh, no, it says mushrooms in North America. I guess that's so you can measure your, your mushroom that you find if you want to there. It says the measurements in this book are in centimeters. So they give you a ruler. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. So I'm thrilled with this. I love the photographs of the mushrooms. And I also found this toadstools and mushrooms. And again, the photographs, I'm going to flip through it, are gorgeous. Look at these photos. This is one that if you get a chance to look online at maybe a secondhand bookstore, these are amazing. Some of these pictures are so pretty. That one looks like a brain. Did you see that? Look at this one coming out of some wheat. Oh, I missed it. I don't know where it went. That one looks kind of brainy, <laughs> except for it's pink. Okay, so that's the Color Nature Library of Mushrooms and Toadstools. And then I found <clears throat> the Complete Book of Practical Gardening. This just had, again, all the photographs in here that even in the, look at it, even in the index. But I tell you what, it's got so many pretty photographs in here. I could not pass this up for the price. So I can tear this up and use this over and over and over again. It's just amazing. Look at that. I can't even imagine. Look at that. Uh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So many species, so little time. And the pictures just are, are endless. It even talks about building a patio, how to lay a patio yourself. And then I've got a couple, I've got three big books left. So I bought the Atlas of the World. 
Um, this is was a I paid a hardback price, but if you go to this section, I literally have maps from all over the entire world in here. Which thrills me. Thrills me. So that section is Africa. This section is Asia. This section is Europe. And then I have the, the more uh, geographic maps too to show the mountains and the plains and the physical part of the map. Super cool, I thought. I never have to buy another map. I don't normally keep map paperwork. Uh, I pass it on. So, of course, I had to get the Indiana Atlas and Gazette or Gazetteer because it's got all over Indiana and all the little towns and all the little big cities and little cities and Chicago land, which is very, very busy up, you know, Northwest Indiana. And then I got, I went ahead and picked up the Rand McNally of the United States, Canada, and Mexico, just because, I mean, this thing would have been 1495 back in the day. Not anymore, of course, but, but you can't go wrong for a dollar. So, okay, so last but not least, I got a fourth bird book, which actually looks a little different than the other two. This is the same exact book. This is only larger and uh, thinner because the pages are larger, but it is the same exact book. It's just a different print of that book. And then I got this. This is the last book I picked up is the math book. And the photographs in this are amazing. Check this out. I hope my camera's focusing. I cannot get over the photography in this book. Some of its art, some photographs, some digital, just all kinds of interesting photographs. And I couldn't pass it up. And it's a math book, but it talks about how math intersects with every part of our life in nature. In computers, in medicine, DNA involves math. Even a game of pool, look at there, involves angles and measurements. But this is my last, this is the last book I picked up, Sacred Geometry. See the abacus, aren't those beautiful? and the history of math. Hmm. So that was it. That's it for my book haul. I am absolutely thrilled that I got so many resources. I am not going to buy another book this year. That's it. I am done. I have purchased some used books that are in route to me. 
before this, before I found out about this book sale and I had wanted a very specific couple of butterfly and mushroom books and I ordered them and the shipping is kind of slow. So it's like, uh, you know, a week or so. And that's when I got the idea to look up the book sale because I wasn't sure when it was. And here it was this weekend. So there we go. I'm done with what I have coming and what I've already bought. I need no more books. So thanks for watching. This is Dana. Have a good day. Bye.